Even if you have eliminated all sources of elemental mercury and your school is mercury free, there is always a possibility that a student could bring mercury to school and cause a spill. Planning and preparation can minimize the health and financial consequences resulting from a spill. ATSDR's Don't Mess With Mercury website provides information and resources that can help you prepare for a spill by following these simple steps. First, fill out a mercury contact sheet listing whom to contact should a spill occur at your school. Second, inventory mercury sources at your school. Consider using a school map to make notes and mark the locations of sources of mercury and mercury-containing items. Obvious places to look include science classrooms and teaching labs, the school clinic or health room, custodian closets, locations where thermostats with mercury switches are located, HVAC and engineering rooms, and of course, everywhere there are fluorescent light bulbs. You may also use the inventory to take steps to control access to protect the sources from spillage and to inform school staff where these sources are located. The third step to protect your school was to make a mercury spill kit to clean up small spills. To make this spill kit, first, collect the following items a box of gallon-sized zipper top plastic bags, a one pint to quart size plastic jar with a screw top lid, a box of large trash bags, two to six millimeters thick, a box of rubber, latex, or nitrile gloves, several pairs of rubber booties to wear over your shoes, one or two rolls of paper towels, several pieces of unbent cardboard, several pieces of paper, two eyedroppers, two rolls of duct tape, shaving cream, several small fine bristled brushes such as paint brushes, a small dustpan, a bright flashlight, powdered sulfur or similar material, and a razor knife with a handle. Store the spill kit and the contact list in a sturdy closable storage container. It should be in a safe, secure, and easily accessible place. Be sure staff knows where the kit is stored. Remember, spill kits can only be used to clean up small spills, like spills that happen when a small thermometer or a light bulb breaks.